Hi there guys, it's Rick here. Hope you're all doing extremely well out there. I know I am. Today we're going to be taking a look at intervals. Um, and I'm not talking about the intervals that are contained within a major scale. Well, I am talking about intervals that are contained within a major scale, but I'm talking about intervals that we play simultaneously. So I'm going to take a key center. In this instance, I'm going to take the key of A major. And instead of playing, you know, a monophonic line, <laughs> or, you know, just the scale ascending linearly. What I'm going to do is I'm going to harmonize it with every single note that's contained within the major scale. So what that means is we're going to be playing the major scale, but above that, we're going to take every interval contained within the major scale. So what we're going to do is we're going to harmonize it in seconds, thirds, fourths, fifths, sixths, and sevenths. So these are all diatonic to the key, okay? So we're not using any notes that do not belong in the, the, this, this major key, okay? So uh, there's a couple of little pointers that I want you to be aware of here. Um, uh, it's really important to be aware of the sound world that this creates because um, there's a number of different ways of looking at it. You can look at it as just two notes play together to create harmony, okay? Um, or you can look at it as, as two individual voices, two lines, two independent lines. Uh, however, what I suggest you do is look at it in both ways because it's, they're both beneficial, um, especially looking at them, treating each one as an individual line. That's very, very important. Okay. So I will stop babbling on and I'll show you exactly what we're going to be doing. So A major scale. So if we think about it, okay, this is what we're going to be getting underneath, but I'm going to be playing the major scale starting from the second degree like that. Okay. But if we play those two together, we get this. So it creates harmony, but also we can treat them as two separate independent lines that are kind of, um, um, they are kind of interdependent in, in one respect. Uh, but I think it's really important to view it from both of those um, perspectives. Okay, so I'll shut the hell up. Let me do it again. <laughs> can continue on uh, and uh, uh, play it. All the way up. Sorry, I uh, meant to play that. Um, but uh, I just want to keep it s simple for now. So those are the seconds. Let me do it once more. Important to do it slowly so that you can really hear the notes. So those are seconds. Now we move on to, on to the next. We're going to keep the lower part the same. Okay, but instead of starting at the second degree with the higher part, we're going to start at the third. And we end up with thirds, okay, obviously. So let's play. Very pleasant sounding, very consonant sounding in, um, interval. Okay, so let me do that once more. Thirds. Again, use your ear to hear the separate lines that these create. Okay, next, fourths. I can play it a, a little bit further on. A bit further on. Oh, oh. Like so. We can do that with every one. Uh, so those are the fourths. Fifths. So uh, we play the same scale, but a fifth higher. 
simultaneously. So we end up with this. Okay, we can keep, keep going. And so on. Uh, what's really important here, just to, I'll just stop at this juncture here to explain. Uh, that uh, it's important to choose, to, you know, good fingerings here that will allow each note to, to, to sustain for its full rhythmic duration. So that's something that you have to, to work on to get the, the fingerings right. I'm not going to go into it right now. I will be doing more videos about this because I'm completely obsessed with this now and uh, I'm, I'm studying it every single day, um, you know, applying it to different scales, which you should do. So, uh, you know, pay attention to the left hand fingerings that you use, okay? So, where were we? We did fifths. Sounds great. Let's do sixths. Okay, so. Played simultaneously. So. Okay, could keep going. All the way up, you know. Uh, so those are six. Very, very nice, co again, consonant sounding interval. Okay. And then finally, we end up with sevenths. Uh, so these are very similar to the, um, uh, the seconds that we played. Very dissonant sounding, but still, I love these. I'm, you know, constantly doing seconds and sevenths. So we're going to play. But then the lower part, a seventh higher. Okay. So what do we get? Nice and steady, so that you can really hear everything. Okay, you could move, do, do uh, as I did before, bollocks. Okay, those are the sevenths, you've got to know these back to front. Uh, but, you know, it's okay to make this occasional mistake. We're all human beings, after all. Uh, anyway, so let me play them all again, one after the other. So seconds, thirds, fourths, fifths, sixths, sevenths. Nice and steady. do I laugh in the middle of every video? <laughs> I have no idea. Just find everything funny. Six. I'll keep going. Okay, then sevenths. <laughs> They sound great. I love the sound of these. They're really, really awesome. What I will get into in, in, uh, in future videos, because uh, I'm going to do more on intervals, is uh, how we can extend those intervals just by using, uh, sort of pasting specific intervals together. Uh, like, for instance, if we take, we're staying in the key of A major, instead of just playing a seventh here, uh, sorry, a second interval, well, it's actually a minor second, but you know, I'm just thinking in terms of the key of A major. If I paste another second interval together with that, we end up with this beautiful, oops, this beautiful voicing. It's a bit awkward that, but uh, there we go. Uh, so I will get into that in due course. So here endeth the lesson. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, lots of stuff here to keep you busy for some time. So explore the fretboard, do as much exploring as you can. Uh, just a quick reminder, still 30% off all downloads from my website. It's a great way to support me um, and also learn something valuable in the process. So link is in the description box below. Thank you for checking out this video. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.